Unlock your potential. Unveiling Carl Jung's 12 intriguing archetypes. Are you ready to embark on a journey deep into the human psyche? Today, we are diving into the world of Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst Carl Jung and exploring his fascinating concept of the 12 archetypes. Buckle up, as this intellectual exploration might just reveal hidden aspects of your very self. The Innocent. Picture a world where optimism reigns supreme and the sun is perpetually shining. This is the world of our first archetype, the innocent. They are the embodiment of hope, trust, and above all, a belief in the fundamental goodness of the world and its inhabitants. The innocent is Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, eyes wide open in wonder, marveling at the sight of Emerald City for the first time. It's Snow White, accepting the apple from the stranger simply because she cannot fathom that anyone could harbor ill will. The innocent takes us back to those childhood days when the world was simple and goodness was expected, not a surprise. But like any fascinating character, the innocent is not without their shadows. They carry an air of naivete that often leads them into the lion's den. Trusting without question, they may find themselves in precarious situations that the more cynical among us might have easily avoided. The Orphan Now let's transition from innocence to resilience as we introduce the next archetype. The Orphan Known as the everyman or the realist, the orphan is someone most of us can relate to whether it's through personal experience or through shared human emotion. The orphan is Harry Potter, in his cupboard underneath the stairs, a symbol of adversity and resilience combined. It's Oliver Twist, begging for more gruel, a poignant symbol of desperation, and yet a spark of courage. You see, the orphan is not about wallowing in self-pity. No, actually, it's far from it. The orphan is about the search for belonging the unquenchable desire to find that missing piece of the puzzle, that place, or finding those people who will make them feel complete. It's about being a part of something bigger than themselves. The dark side of this quest, you might ask? A fear of exploitation. Orphans in their earnest quest for belonging may become overly trusting and end up being taken advantage of. Their empathetic nature might be seen as a weakness by those with less than noble intentions. Yet in this vulnerability lies the orphan's strength. The orphan's story is one of authenticity, connection, and ultimately also empowerment. They help us recognize our own insecurities and our inherent desire to connect with other people. They prompt us to question, to challenge, and most importantly, to grow. From the resilient orphan, now we transition to the audacious hero, an archetype that ignites the spark of courage within all of us. The hero is about overcoming obstacles, vanquishing evils, and standing up for what is right no matter what the cost. Imagine Luke Skywalker, a seemingly ordinary boy from Tatooine, who embarks on a galactic scale quest to confront the darkness and bring balance to the Force. Think of maybe Hercules, the demigod who faces the grueling twelve labors to redeem his honor and secure his place amongst the gods. These kind of characters are the embodiment of bravery, embodying the hero's journey in its most thrilling of forms. However, every hero must tread carefully, for where there is light, there is often a shadow just as dark lurking. The hero must be aware of arrogance and the risk of losing themselves during their mission. They might become so consumed with their quest that they neglect their personal needs and or relationships. Nevertheless, the hero archetype stands as an inspirational beacon for everybody. They ignite our inner fire, they push us to break our boundaries, and encourage us to be the protagonist in our own life stories. They remind us that no dragon is too formidable to slay, and no mountain is too high for us to climb, so long as we are to hold on to our courage. The Caregiver Leaving behind the action-packed world of the hero, we now enter the nurturing realm that is the caregiver. This archetype is the embodiment of unconditional love and care, radiating warmth and compassion that envelops us like a soft and comforting blanket. 
Visualize Mother Teresa selflessly dedicating her life to serve the poor and the sick. Or consider Samwise Gamgee from The Lord of the Rings for standing by Frodo's side through every peril like a beacon of unwavering loyalty and friendship. The caregiver archetype embodies the essence of selflessness and generosity. And of course, just like every other archetype, the caregiver too walks on a tight rope. On one side is the virtue of selfless giving, but on the other, there lies a risk of losing oneself in service of others. They may tend to forget their own needs and desires, falling prey to exploitation or martyrdom. Nevertheless, the caregiver shines brightly as a symbol of altruism and benevolence. They echo the sentiment that kindness can indeed change the world. They remind us that sometimes the simple act of caring can create an endless ripple effect, touching lives in ways that we might never fully comprehend. The Explorer As we wave goodbye to the warm embrace of the caregiver, we turn to the adventurous and curious explorer. This archetype craves freedom, always seeking the thrill of discovering something new and uncharted. Imagine a prime example like Indiana Jones with his signature whip and hat and deciphering cryptic clues. Or consider a more innocent character like Dora the Explorer, backpack filled with essentials fearlessly venturing into the unknown. Both of these characters perfectly embody the free spirit of the Explorer, driven by the thrill of adventure and also by the quest for discovery. Yet every Explorer must navigate with caution. The exhilaration of an unmarked path could easily lead them to wander aimlessly, both losing sight of their purpose or their direction. They might become so infatuated with the journey that they forget the value of reaching a destination. The Explorer archetype is a testament to our innate curiosity and our love for adventure. They awaken our dormant wanderlust, pushing us to explore and to step out of our comfort zones. They urge us to question to probe, and to seek out the extraordinary in a world of the ordinary. The Rebel Now, we step into the realm of the Rebel, the archetype that challenges norms and insights changes. They're usually the ones who defy the status quo, the revolutionaries who dare to envision a different world. Think of Katniss Evergreen from The Hunger Games, an ordinary girl from District 12 who ends up sparking a revolution. Or imagine the character V from Vendetta the masked vigilante who fights against a totalitarian regime to restore freedom. These characters both personify the rebel, the radical who upsets the apple cart to usher in transformation. However, the path of rebellion, therefore the rebel, is riddled with dangers. The rebel, in their fire request for change, might find themselves sparking unnecessary chaos or becoming the very oppressors that they initially were fighting against. The line that separates revolution and anarchy is often much more thin than it appears. Yet, it's the rebels' audacity that makes them such an intriguing archetype. They inspire us to challenge established conventions and stand up for our beliefs, even when the odds seem stacked against us. They teach us the power of dissent and the importance of questioning authority. The Lover From the disruptive energy of the rebel, we move towards the passion-infused realm of the lovers. These archetypes seek deep connections, meaningful relationships, and the intoxicating dance of romance. They are all about love, intimacy, and the shared connection that transcends the mundane. Imagine Romeo and Juliet, their love story becoming a timeless testament to the passion and commitment of love. Or visualize Jack and Rose from Titanic, two individuals from different worlds brought together by the powerful bond of love. These kind of characters absolutely embody the lover archetype, captivating us with their undying devotion and intense emotions. However, every lover should tread lightly. Their desire for union can lead to a loss of self-identity as they risk becoming too consumed by their devotion. The lover, in their quest for intimacy, could end up neglecting their individuality and their growth. Despite these shadows that the archetype has, the lover serves as a beautiful reminder of our capacity to both love and be loved. They teach us about the depths of our emotions and the power of intimate connections. They remind all of us that love, in its many, many forms, is a universal force that binds all of us together. 
the creator, having just savored in the intoxicating realm of the lover, let us now turn to the imaginative and the inventive world that is the creator. This archetype is the absolute embodiment of innovation via continually striving to shape reality through their own unique vision. Think of Steve Jobs, whose innovative spirit led to a technological revolution. Or consider maybe Tony Stark, aka Marvel Comics hero Iron Man, whose inventive genius helped him craft extraordinary suits of armor and save the world time and time again. These figures exemplify the creator archetype, as they are transforming the world around them through their creative prowess. However, the path of creation is of course not without its perils. The creator may also become so obsessed with their pursuit of perfection that they risk losing touch with reality itself. Their relentless quest for innovation just might spiral into self-indulgence or impracticality. Yet, the creator's essence is a beacon of inspiration for us all. The creator shows us that imagination is not just a whimsical flight of fancy. It is actually a tool that can shape our reality. They inspire us to think outside the box, to challenge the norm, and to manifest our own unique visions. The Jester As we now leave behind the thought-provoking realm of the creator, we enter the light-hearted and jovial world of the Jester. This archetype is all about living in the moment, by embracing joy, and most importantly, never missing an opportunity to have a laugh. Picture characters like the genie from Aladdin, whose hilarious antics and quips bring laughter to even the most dire of situations. Or think of Deadpool, the merc with a mouth, whose irreverent humor and sharp wit make him a standout character. These kind of characters embody the jester archetype, spreading joy and laughter wherever they go. However, the jester's path is of course not just all laughs. In their pursuit of fun, they may overlook the seriousness of certain situations, or their humor might inadvertently cross the line into mockery or cruelty. Their carefree nature can sometimes evolve into irresponsibility. Nevertheless, the jester archetype serves as a valuable reminder to not ever take life too seriously, the value of living in the present, and the joy that comes from not sweating the small stuff. They remind us that sometimes the best response to life's challenges is just a good old hearty laugh. The Sage As we step away from the mirthful energy of the Jester, we find ourselves in the tranquil and wise sphere of the Sage. The Sage archetype seeks understanding and enlightenment, driven by a desire to uncover the truths of the universe. Think of Yoda, the ancient Jedi Master from Star Wars, dispensing wisdom and guiding young Jedi Knights on their path. Or consider Gandalf from Lord of the Rings, a wise wizard offering counsel to Frodo on his epic quest. They both exemplify the sage archetype, their wisdom illuminating the path towards understanding. However, the sage's pursuit of wisdom isn't devoid of pitfalls. In the sage's quest for knowledge, they might end up becoming detached from the world, losing themselves in both abstraction and intellectualization. Their quest for the truth could easily become a never-ending spiral, leading them into a labyrinth of confusion and indecision. Yet the sage's essence is truly inspiring to most people. They show us the power of wisdom and the beauty of seeking knowledge for its own sake. The sage reminds us that life is a never-ending learning journey. It is full of mysteries to unravel and full of truths to discover. The Magician As we emerge out of the introspective realm of the sage, we now delve into the mystical world of the magician. The magician archetype is all about transformation, wielding the power to change and shape their reality and that of others around them. Envision Merlin the legendary wizard who uses his magical prowess to guide King Arthur. Or maybe think of Neo from The Matrix, who learns to manipulate the virtual reality of The Matrix to free humanity. These characters encapsulate the magician archetype for their transformative abilities bringing about change in the world around them. However, the magician must be wary of their own powers. In their hands, the power to transform can easily become the power to manipulate or deceive. Their knowledge of the unseen can lead to illusion or of escape from reality. Despite these potential shadows that the magician may cast, 
They embody a profound understanding of the universe and therefore a great understanding of our role within said universe. They inspire us to tap into our own transformative powers and help us realize that we are not merely passive observers, but actual active participants in shaping our own destinies. The Ruler As we bid farewell to the enchanting realm that is the magician, we ascend to the throne of the ruler. This archetype is all about leadership, control, and the ability to provide structure to the chaos of the world that surrounds them. Picture Aragorn from The Lord of the Rings, who rises from being but a humble ranger to the King of Gondor, providing strong leadership in times of turmoil. Or consider Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones, who seeks to reclaim her rightful throne and bring about a new world order. They encapsulate the ruler archetype by showcasing their leadership and therefore shaping the course of their world. However, every ruler must bear their own crown very wisely. Their desire for control can slip into autocracy, and their noble purpose might give way to power-hungry ambitions. Their once just rule can devolve into tyranny if not tempered with compassion and understanding. Despite these pitfalls that the ruler has, the ruler archetype stands as a testament to the power of leadership and the ability to bring order where there is chaos. They inspire us to take charge, to strive for a cause bigger than ourselves, and to be the leaders in our own lives. And that, my friends, completes our journey through Carl Jung's 12 archetypes. We've unraveled the mysteries of the human psyche, the characters that live within all of us, and perhaps recognized ourselves along the way. Remember, understanding these archetypes is not just about identifying patterns in literature or films. It is instead about discovering ourselves. So, which archetype resonates with you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe for more exciting explorations into the world of psychology. Until next time, everybody, stay curious and keep exploring.